Hello, I'm Eric Palmer. I'm one of the people who put this course together, and I thank you for being here. You can read about me at pvlegs.com. There's an About Me page that'll tell you all about me. Short version is that after a career in business, I went into education, and I spent 21 years teaching science, language arts, math, social studies. And in all of those, kids were speaking, and they weren't speaking very well and it bothered me, so I came up with a way to teach kids to speak well. And you care about speaking also, that's why you're here, and so again, thank you for being here. You know, as I looked at what comments were posted during Module 1, a couple things struck me. One, we are an international group. There are people from all over the planet here. This is interesting to me because I did some work in the Middle East in the spring, and to prepare for that work, I did a little research and I found a study that someone had done of companies in 15 different countries. The overwhelming skills that were wanted by those companies, number one, speaking, number two, listening. And here's why. Spoken English is the currency of international communication. Somebody from Brazil meets someone from Germany. The Brazilian doesn't speak German. The German doesn't speak Portuguese. The conversation is likely to be in English. Someone from Riyadh talks to someone in Tokyo, that conversation will be in spoken English. So we're talking about the global currency of communication, and I think that's why a lot of international folks are here. Second thing that struck me, we don't have a lot of emphasis on this in our schools. Very few people reported that their school values speaking or has materials about speaking and listening, and so we're all struggling with how to come up with something. Well, that's what we're providing in this course, a way to think about speaking and listening and a way to make it manageable for us to teach speaking and listening. You already now have the framework. This is what you do before you open your mouth. This is what you do as you are speaking. And with those skills, now we have a concept of what to teach. So thank you again for being here and starting to rethink the way you look at speaking. Another thing I noticed was that we don't really have a consistent language about speaking. If you look at what people have said, we have all kinds of different ways to describe what it takes to be a great speaker. This is confusing for kids. What we hope to do here is standardize some language. You don't find some teacher who scores proper paper markage, and another teacher who scores squiggles and dots used correctly, and another teacher who scores capitalization, semicolons, and other stuff. We agree. Punctuation. We've come to some standardization, and now we're standardizing the way we think about speaking and listening. Poise, voice, life. Let's come to some agreement. And as a final note, I'd like you to look back at a lot of the speeches that people posted. Because now we can look at those with new eyes. Have the ACOVA framework in your hand. Have the PV Legs framework. We now have a way to analyze speaking that makes much more sense than just kind of generally talking about what speakers do. So we've made a lot of progress here in Module 1. Oh, a final note. I'm recording this on a cell phone. This is not a professional job. I'm in Miami doing a conference here in the library, and I pulled out my phone to record this lesson. The point here is that our students have digital tools that they can use to practice speaking, to send in rough drafts of speaking, to showcase speaking. We ought to be paying a lot more attention to these kinds of tools. But let me repeat what I've said a couple of times. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for participating. We'll do some more next week.